Director Ellis has kept the core of the team that was part of the recent Rio Olympic Games squad for this month's Women's Africa Cup of Nations tournament. Five players from the Rio squad have been omitted, including former captain Amanda Lamini and striker Sana Molo. The experience gained in Brazil and the majority of the team are still together though. This should give the South Africans confidence ahead of the continental showpiece in Cameroon. Banyana Banyana have not yet been able to win the African Championship. It's the coach's dream to achieve what has not been achieved by her predecessors. Desri Ellis was part of the Banyana Banyana teams that were runners up in 1995 and 2000. While she desperately wants a gold medal, she also wants to secure the job on a full time basis. For giving us the opportunity to take charge of the team, but now we also have to raise our hands. And if we raise our hands, we make them think twice. So that is what we, as Maud and I, that, and the rest of the technical team, that is what we're going to try and do. By raising our hands, the players raise their hands, and we get the result at the end of the day, and Safa then will have no option. <laughs> Although most of the players were in Rio for the Olympics, only a handful have been consistently part of the team for four or more years. With the 2018 women's AFCON doubling up as a World Cup qualifier, this tournament can be seen as a first block of the building process. We have already called up uh, Amuholang Mutau, who was the under-20 captain. And um, there are a lot of players, not only in the under-20 team, but also in the under-7 team that are starting to raise their hands. Some of them were at the roadshow. And obviously we're looking at that. Like I said, I've been in the job since the 16th, but I already have a database of players going forward. The tournament should serve as a strong platform for a solid structure. Banyana Banyana in a tough Group A that includes fellow Olympians Zimbabwe, who they will play in a friendly in Harare on Thursday, their final warm-up match before the tournament. Host Cameroon and Egypt complete the group. Lebhan Tube, SBC News, China's Bridge.